Hey there everybody, this is Christian. I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20 and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, launching web URLs from a toolbar in the ShareWell Blue Client. Um, so before I get into actually making these buttons, I'm just going to show you the functionality. Uh, so let's click on our ESPN link here. You'll notice that it opens up in your default web browser. And if you have a session going already, it's actually not going to open up a, uh, another window. It's just going to add on a tab um, to your current session. So let's go ahead and open up Google here as well. Uh, so as you can see, it just launches um, directly to the site that you specify when you make the button. So let's go into here. Um, I've appropriately named this Christian's Toolbar. So we will customize this. Edit. And as you can see here, this is just one step that I've made. Um, Let's go to add a one-step action. And for something like a URL, you're not going to want to set an association to it. You're going to want to have it on none. Uh, that means that no matter what object you're on, uh, whatever dashboard, you'll be able to launch this. So let's make a new one. Let's say, um, let's do the MAP exchange. And this one step is only going to have one step in it. It's going to be launch a URL. And we will say launch a map exchange. And just paste the URL in there. Um, something I will suggest is that when you're setting up this button initially, go to the actual site um, and copy the URL from the bar and then paste that into this section here. If you don't, uh, you might end up with some sort of error saying like this is not a valid uh, URL um, or something along those lines and then your button just won't work. So let's go ahead and say okay here, okay. Um, we want to have text on our buttons so that we know what site it is. And show text on button and for the sake of consistency let's go ahead and put a little globe icon next to it. Say OK, OK. Here is our button. We can click it. And voila, we have the MAP Exchange. Uh, so as far as use goes, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting a link to ESPN um, on the Blue Client for all of your employees. Um, but this could be used for maybe linking to your customer self-service portal or um, TechNet. You know, knowledge sources, um, maybe internal SharePoint sites, uh, things of that nature. And that's just about all I have for you today. Um, please feel free to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and definitely leave a comment uh, with any questions or suggestions for another video. Thanks a lot, guys.